Hey there, fantastic viewers. Welcome to Calm Mind Assuredly. I'm genuinely touched that you chose to click on the thumbnail and join us for a moment of connection and discovery. Your curiosity is the driving force behind what we do here, and I'm hopeful that together, we'll embark on a journey that resonates with your heart and mind. So, grab a cozy spot, because this is a space where we learn, grow, and share meaningful experiences. Thank you for gracing us with your presence. Let the magic unfold, and let's make this journey together. But first, please note that our videos, inspired by the teachings of Saint Padre Pio, are not a direct representation of his words. Our goal is to share insights for inspiration and guidance, but we don't claim to be his official voice. The information we provide for educational and spiritual purposes, reflecting our interpretation of his wisdom. We encourage you to explore Padre Pio's teachings through authoritative sources and view our content as encouragement rather than a substitute for your own spiritual journey. Thank you and may you learn something today. Are you yearning for divine blessings in your life, seeking the benevolence of the Almighty in every step you take? In a world filled with uncertainties, the quest for spiritual guidance and God's favor has been a constant pursuit for many. How can one unlock the pathway to receiving the abundant blessings promised in the Christian faith? Saint Pio of Pietrelcina, a revered figure in Christian spirituality, provides profound insights into cultivating a life rich with God's blessings. In this journey, we will explore 10 invaluable tips inspired by St. Pio's teachings, accompanied by relevant Bible verses and the wisdom encapsulated in his own words. As we navigate the complexities of contemporary life, it's not uncommon to grapple with questions about the divine, the purpose of our existence, and the ways to invite God's favor into our lives. In this exploration, we'll delve into the timeless teachings of St. Pio, a guiding light for those seeking a deeper connection with the divine. His words resonate across generations, offering solace and direction in the pursuit of God's blessings. Imagine a life where you feel a constant presence of grace, where every challenge becomes an opportunity for spiritual growth, and where you are enveloped in the warmth of divine love. This captivating journey, inspired by St. Pio's profound insights, invites you to embark on a quest for God's blessings that transcends the ordinary, providing a roadmap to enrich your spiritual life. So, let's delve into the wisdom of Saint Pio and discover the transformative power of aligning our lives with the Divine Will. Tip 1. Foster a Heart of Gratitude in the journey towards receiving God's blessings, St. Pio emphasizes the transformative power of a grateful heart. Gratitude becomes a sacred lens through which we perceive the world, recognizing the myriad blessings woven into the fabric of our lives. It's not merely about saying, thank you, but cultivating a profound awareness of God's grace. As St. Pio often said, ingratitude is the enemy of the soul's peace. When we dwell in gratitude, we echo the sentiment of Psalm 100 verse 4, Enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and praise his name. This practice creates a harmonious connection with the divine, inviting God's blessings to cascade into our lives like a gentle rain that nourishes the soil of our souls. Gratitude is a spiritual posture that aligns us with the generosity of God. It's an acknowledgement that every breath we take is a gift, Every sunrise is a brushstroke of divine artistry. Saint Pio encourages us to adopt this attitude, stating, Always stay close to this Heavenly Mother, because she is the sea to be crossed to reach the shores of eternal splendor. In a world often marred by discontent, a heart of gratitude becomes a beacon, drawing us closer to the source of all blessings. It transforms the mundane into the sacred creating a space where God's favor naturally takes root and blossoms. Tip 2. Embrace Humility Saint Pio's teachings underscore the profound connection between humility and God's blessings. Humility is not a diminishing of our worth but an acknowledgement of our dependence on the divine. 
In the words of Matthew 18 verse 4, Jesus teaches, whoever humbles himself like this child is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven. Humility becomes a fertile soil where the seeds of God's grace can take root and flourish. Saint Pio eloquently expresses this truth, the road to sanctity is not a road of honors, but rather a road of humility. To embrace humility is to recognize our need for God's guidance and mercy. It's an antidote to the pride that erects barriers between us and the divine. As Saint Pio wisely notes, humility and purity are the wings which carry us to God and make us almost divine. In the grand tapestry of Christian virtues, humility is the thread that weaves a harmonious pattern. It opens our hearts to receive the blessings God longs to bestow upon His humble children. It's a transformative journey from self-centeredness to God-centeredness, a path St. Pio walked with unwavering devotion. Tip 3. Nurture a life of prayer. The rhythm of a life steeped in prayer is the heartbeat of St. Pio's spiritual teachings. Prayer is not a mere ritual but a continual conversation with the Divine. St. Pio himself remarked, prayer is the best weapon we possess. It is the key that opens the heart of God. In embracing a life of prayer, we create a sacred space where our desires, hopes, and struggles are laid bare before God. This communion fosters intimacy and invites the benevolence of the Almighty into every corner of our lives. The Bible, in 1 Thessalonians 5 verses 16 to 18, echoes this sentiment, urging us to rejoice always, pray continually, give thanks in all circumstances. Nurturing a life of prayer requires consistency and sincerity. It's not about eloquent words or elaborate rituals but about the authenticity of our connection with God. Like a child running into the arms of a loving parent, our prayers, when genuine, create a bridge between the finite and the infinite. Saint Pio's life exemplified the transformative power of prayer, where every challenge and triumph became an opportunity for communion with the Divine. As we kneel in prayer, we open the door for God's blessings to flow into our lives, knowing that He hears the whispers of our hearts. Tip 4. Cultivate a Spirit of Obedience Saint Pio's teachings emphasize the significance of obedience to God's commandments as a conduit for divine blessings. In Deuteronomy 28 verses 1-2, a promise resonates, If you fully obey the Lord your God and carefully follow all His commands, all these blessings will come upon you. Obedience becomes an act of trust, a demonstration of our faith in God's wisdom and plan. Saint Pio's words echo the biblical call for obedience, stating, The more you are nothing, the more God will be everything in you. It is in surrendering our will to God's that we create a pathway for His blessings to manifest in our lives. Cultivating a spirit of obedience involves aligning our actions with God's principles, even when the world around us suggests otherwise. It's a conscious choice to live by the moral compass set forth by the Creator. Saint Augustine aptly captures this essence, declaring, Obedience is the necessity of our salvation. Through obedience, we demonstrate our love for God, creating a channel through which His blessings can flow. It's a humble acknowledgement that God's ways are higher than ours, and in our obedience, we find the abundance of His grace. Tip 5. Practice Acts of Charity Saint Pio extols the virtues of charity as a transformative force in inviting God's blessings into our lives. Galatians 5 verses 22-23 beautifully outlines the fruits of the Spirit, including kindness and goodness. Acts of charity, both big and small, are akin to planting seeds of love that blossom into a garden of divine favor. Saint Pio encapsulates this truth, stating, Charity is the most beautiful flower that springs from the soul. When we extend love and kindness to others, we become conduits for God's love, creating a ripple effect of blessings that not only touch our lives but also enrich the lives of those we encounter. Practicing acts of charity is a tangible expression of our faith in action. 
it's about living out the commandment to love our neighbors as ourselves. In the simple gestures of compassion, we mirror the unconditional love God showers upon us. Saint Pio's life exemplified this principle, as he dedicated himself to serving the needy and alleviating suffering. In the tapestry of Christian living, acts of charity weave a thread that connects us to the heart of God. It's a recognition that in giving, we receive, and in loving, we are abundantly loved. As we engage in acts of charity, we create a welcoming space for God's blessings to flow, knowing that love is the currency of the divine realm. Hey there, wonderful souls! Before we dive back into our discussion, let me express my heartfelt gratitude for your unwavering support. Your presence has been a guiding light on this incredible journey, and today, I bring you something truly special, Super Thanks. So, what's the buzz about Super Thanks? It's not just another way to show appreciation, it's a chance to add an extra sprinkle of love and support. The best part? A portion of the proceeds from your Super Thanks will go to charity, amplifying the impact we can create together. Now, brace yourselves for the heartfelt twist. When you send a super thanks, you're not just getting a shout out in our next video. Oh no! The recipients of the charity funds will personally extend their thanks to you. Imagine the joy and gratitude they'll share, all because of your generosity. It's more than a transaction, it's a heartfelt connection between kind souls. Your support is the driving force behind the joy, knowledge, and inspiration we aim to spread. Every like, every share, and now, every super thanks contributes to something bigger than ourselves. Your kindness matters more than you know, and we are immensely grateful for your role in making the world a better place. Curious about how to be a part of this positive change? It's simple. Below the video, alongside the like and share buttons, you'll find the super thanks button. Click it, choose the amount you want to give, click the buy and send button, and follow the straightforward instructions. Your contribution, no matter the size, is a step toward crafting a positive impact together. Join us in this collective effort to make a difference. Your kindness and generosity contribute to something truly beautiful. Let's not just watch but actively participate in spreading positivity and creating a ripple effect of goodness. Your support is the key to unlocking a world of compassion and understanding. Remember, your kindness matters. Now, let's get back to our discussion, inspired and uplifted by the collective goodness we can create together. Tip 6. Seek forgiveness and forgive others. Forgiveness, according to St. Pio, is a pivotal key to unlocking God's blessings. In Matthew 6 verses 14 to 15, Jesus teaches, For if you forgive other people when they sin against you, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. But if you do not forgive others their sins, your Father will not forgive your sins. Seeking forgiveness for our own shortcomings and extending forgiveness to others is a profound act of spiritual liberation. It clears the path for God's mercy to flow into our lives, washing away the burdens of resentment and guilt. Saint Pio underscores this truth, stating, Suffering is a sign that you have come so close to him that he can kiss you. Forgiveness is a balm that heals the wounds of the soul. It's a conscious choice to release the grip of bitterness and embrace the freedom that comes with pardoning others. Saint Pio's life exemplified the transformative power of forgiveness, even in the face of personal sufferings. When we forgive, we align ourselves with the divine principle of mercy, creating a space for God's blessings to pour into our lives. It's a recognition that we are all recipients of God's forgiveness, and by extending the same to others, we participate in the redemptive work of grace. In Forgiveness we find not only healing but also a pathway to receive the boundless blessings of a merciful God. Tip 7. Surrender to God's Timing Saint Pio's wisdom teaches us the profound importance of surrendering to God's divine timing. In Ecclesiastes 3 verse 1, we are reminded, there is a time for everything, and a season for every activity under the heavens. Patience, 
combined with unwavering trust, becomes the cornerstone of this surrender. St. Pio's words echo this sentiment, pray, hope, and don't worry. Worry is useless. God is merciful and will hear your prayer. Surrendering to God's timing is not passive resignation but an active acknowledgement that His plans far surpass our understanding. In a world that often demands instant gratification, embracing divine timing can be a challenging yet transformative practice. It's a recognition that God's perspective extends beyond the confines of our immediate circumstances. Like a masterful composer, he orchestrates the symphony of our lives, knowing when to crescendo and when to provide a moment of rest. St. Pio's life was a testament to this surrender, as he patiently endured trials, trusting in God's perfect timing. By relinquishing our desire for immediate answers and outcomes, we create a space for God's blessings to unfold in ways far beyond our expectations. Tip 8. Immerse yourself in the Word of God. St. Pio emphasizes the transformative power of immersing ourselves in the Word of God as a means of receiving His blessings. In Joshua 1 verse 8, we are instructed, Keep this book of the law always on your lips, meditate on it day and night. The Bible serves as a spiritual compass, providing guidance, wisdom, and a deeper understanding of God's character. St. Pio affirms this truth, stating, The Bible is the best of all books, for it is the Word of God and teaches us the way to be happy in this world and in the next. To immerse ourselves in God's Word is to partake in a spiritual banquet that nourishes our souls. The Bible is not merely a collection of ancient texts but a living, breathing testimony to God's love and guidance. It serves as a lamp unto our feet, illuminating the path towards righteousness and blessings. St. Pio's life exemplified the transformative impact of Scripture, as he drew strength and inspiration from the Word of God. As we delve into the sacred pages of the Bible, we open ourselves to the divine revelation, aligning our hearts with the eternal truths that invite God's blessings to flow abundantly. It's a journey of continual discovery, where each passage becomes a stepping stone toward a deeper connection with the divine. Tip 9. Suffer with Grace St. Pio's life was marked by suffering endured with grace, and he teaches us the transformative power within our trials. In 1 Peter 4 verses 12 to 13, we are reminded, Dear friends, do not be surprised at the fiery ordeal that has come on you to test you, but rejoice inasmuch as you participate in the sufferings of Christ. Suffering, when embraced with faith, becomes a conduit for spiritual growth and a pathway to God's blessings. St. Pio expressed this truth, stating, The life of a Christian is nothing but a perpetual struggle against self. There is no flowering of the soul to the beauty of its perfection except at the price of pain. Suffering, in the Christian context, is not devoid of meaning. It becomes a sacred offering, a participation in the redemptive work of Christ. St. Pio's life exemplifies the concept of offering up, suffering for the benefit of others and the purification of one's soul. By enduring trials with grace and faith, we align ourselves with the footsteps of Christ, finding solace in the assurance that our suffering is not in vain. In the crucible of pain, we discover a profound connection with God, where His grace becomes a sustaining force that transforms suffering into a source of blessings and spiritual elevation. Tip 10. Maintain Unwavering Faith At the core of St. Pio's teachings lies the imperative of maintaining unwavering faith in God. Hebrews 11 verse 6 declares, And without faith, it is impossible to please God, because anyone who comes to Him must believe that He exists and that He rewards those who earnestly seek Him. Faith becomes the bridge that connects the visible with the invisible, the temporal with the eternal. St. Pio encapsulates this truth in his reassuring words, Pray, hope, and don't worry. Worry is useless. God is merciful and will hear your prayer. Unwavering faith is not the absence of challenges but the persistent trust that God's promises endure, 
regardless of circumstances. Maintaining unwavering faith requires a deliberate choice in the face of life's uncertainties. It's an anchor that steadies us amidst the storms of doubt and despair. St. Pio's life, marked by miracles and profound spiritual encounters, attests to the potency of a faith that persists even in the darkest moments. As we navigate the complexities of life, a steadfast faith becomes a source of resilience, inviting God's blessings to manifest in unexpected ways. It's a journey where doubts may arise, but faith stands firm, a testament to the enduring love and faithfulness of the Almighty. As we conclude this insightful journey into the teachings of St. Pio and the profound ways in which we can invite God's blessings into our lives, I invite you to reflect on the transformative wisdom shared. Each of these ten principles, drawn from the life and words of St. Pio, serves as a beacon guiding us toward a deeper connection with the Divine. Remember, fostering a heart of gratitude, embracing humility, and nurturing a life of prayer are not mere actions, they are transformative practices that can reshape the very fabric of our existence. In the tapestry of Christian living, acts of charity, forgiveness, and surrender to God's timing become threads that weave a narrative of love, compassion, and divine alignment. Through the immersion in the Word of God, endurance in times of suffering, and the unwavering maintenance of faith, we unlock the gates to a life filled with God's abundant blessings. St. Pio's life serves as an inspiring testament to the power of these principles in transforming ordinary lives into extraordinary testimonies of grace. As we part ways, I encourage you to apply these timeless teachings in your daily walk. If you found this exploration valuable, consider subscribing to our channel and joining our vibrant community. Don't forget to click the notification bell to stay updated on our latest posts. Your support in liking and sharing this video is a powerful way to extend the reach of these transformative insights. Take a moment to explore our channel, delve into the diverse videos and playlists we offer, and become an active participant in our growing community. We are curious to know where in the world you are joining our community from, how you discovered our channel and which part of this journey resonated with you the most. Share your thoughts in the comments section below, keeping in mind the principles of respect, mindfulness, and love. Let your comments be a source of encouragement and positivity for fellow travelers on this spiritual path. Remember, thinking before you click ensures that our online interactions align with the values we hold dear. In the spirit of St. Pio's teachings, if there's ever a moment where the content does not resonate with you, exercise the power of silence. Leaving rather than engaging in negative comments preserves the sanctity of our digital space. May the blessings of God be with you all always as you embark on this transformative journey, seeking to not only know Christ but to live like Christ in every facet of your life.